Hi, this is Angela Taylor with Taylor Homestead Soap, and I'm outside taping right in the front of Florence, who's coming our way here soon. I live in the Carolinas, and we are beginning to feel the beginnings of Florence coming through. We've got some wind. They're calling for 40 mile an hour sustained wind gusts. No, sustained wind tonight, and three days of three days of rain. So. Mmm, interesting times ahead. So anyway, today's soap is going to be um, for you guys out there. It is, I'm, I made a soap that is uh, black and gray, but it's weird because when I cut it, it got kind of brittle and I've never had that before, I don't understand. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make a soap that is um, felted and I'm felting it with Angora rabbit fiber. Um, rabbit fiber, Angora rabbit fiber is usually used to um, spin, uh, make yarn with, crochet, knit with, those kinds of things. But I'm going to use it to felt some soap. Like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel. I also have an Etsy store. Um, go to www.etsy.com and type in Taylor Homestead Soap and you'll find my store. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. I almost forgot. I'm also gonna give you a bit of a Atticus Angora Bunny update. We do have an Angora Bunny. His name is Atticus. So I'm gonna give you a bit of an update. Enjoy. Okay, in today's soap, I'll be using some black oxide and some neutral gray mica. What's neutral gray mica? Neutral gray mica, Eli's asking me. And the fragrance oil is black tuxedo. So I'm gonna be using a three pound bowl today because honestly, I've never used this fragrance oil and I don't know what to expect. So we're gonna go small and go big later on. Alrighty, you start with putting your lye water solution into your oils. going to do is I'm going to put some of the soap in here. I'm going to fill it up. This is going to be my gray. And then instead of mixing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake it like this. Just shake, shake, shake. I already put the um, fragrance oil inside this bottle. And I'm just shaking away. Shake, shake. Okay, so you can see my major mess there. Huh? So what happened was, I don't think I got it on camera, I was using this and the lid came off. It exploded all over everything because it was beginning to set up too much. So, you always go to plan B, so it can be unpredictable. Um, so what I did is I started to use this gray and I'm just kind of splattering it down in there. Now, um, the black is still doing fine. Here's what I've been doing. Ready, plan B. I've been kind of taking a spoon and spooning in the gray so it's kind of um, everywhere and then I'm taking this so it's not exactly the dancing bubbles thing but that's okay it'll still look cool and that's what counts right folks So kind of going back and forth. So there's my gray. I'll go back and forth with my black. Now, I'm having to kind of bounce it down in between each. Let's see how the black's begin to set up. Oh, Angela, what a mess, what a mess. And I would clean all this up, except that I don't want the soap to, to um, set up. <laughs> I'm afraid it's going to by the time we get all this cleaned up. So we're kind of doing one of these things right now. We're working in the mess. That's 
that's cool looking. Now I'll clean all that up so it won't look like that, but. All right, so I got my Angora fiber here. I've got my gloves on and I've got my soap. So, here I'm going to show you this. Let's see if I'm bringing it a little closer here. Here we go. So, what you do when you felt soap is you put it around. Now, I want to tell you something a little something interesting about Angora fiber. Angora rabbits are not like, their hair is not like your um, everyday common rabbits. You see hollow lops are very different. Um, a lot of rabbits, when you pet them, they have hair that come off. Angoras are very different. Um, they blow their coats, meaning they lose their coats about four times a year. But normally, when you're petting them, you're not going to get a whole lot of hair off of them. Um, otherwise, now, like when I brushed when I brush my angora rabbit, and that's two or three times, two times a week maybe, I get very little overall um, hair off him because he's not blowing his coat right now. So it's it's different. So before y'all go, ooh. So um, so this is how you do it, and then I'm gonna add um, just a little bit something else to it. Um, you can see there, there it is. I'm gonna add some just some green to it. Now this is Corindel sheep wool. So again, this soap is not there's nothing wrong necessarily with the soap, but when I cut it, it was just brittle. So you know the the uh, black oxide could have something to do with it. The the fragrance oil could have something to do with it. Who knows? but it just didn't cut into, you know, clean pieces. So I cut it back up again, and I'm gonna put it into this. All right, here's one. Ooh, here's another one. Just wrap it around there, and you just squeeze it, and you push it together, and you kind of melt it in. Again, it's clean. The Angora fiber's clean. The Corindel fiber's clean. It's all clean. And, when, and it gets a whole lot, it's it even more clean when you're rubbing it around on the soap. So, there it is. Now, this uh, this particular Angora, um, it was about two inches long when I um, cut his hair. And so that's not really quite long enough for um, good spinning so you really need three four inches um off of angora in order to really be able to spin it and this is only about two so you know why not we'll try this with it all right again if you like what you see please give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel leave a comment below and remember to go to my etsy shop it's etsy.com and type in Taylor Homestead Soap and there you will find my soap and some of my crochet things. Have a good day. Bye.